Hello everyone who's ever wanted to slap a god in the face. I am Borderwise and welcome to From the Depths Most Wanted. The first Most Wanted where we're covering something that is not in the Neater campaign. Probably... Oh wait, no, I don't think that's... I might have done Ashes, I don't remember. Anyway, so this is the first uh, Most Wanted covering something from a custom campaign. There, I saved it. Well done me. Uh, this is the Poseidon class assault cruiser from the Caravonian Rebellion, made by Aperture Gaming, and this is one for the new players, which tends to be the case for Most Wanted because the whole point is to help people beat things that they're having trouble with, and this is just something that I wanted to cover this craft because I had quite a nasty surprise when playing through the Caravonian Rebellion. I played the whole thing on stream, by the way. I'll post a link to the playlist. Um, but here's the thing. The Caravan Rebellion is designed to be easier than neater, and it is for the most part, but emphasis there is easier, not easy, and in my playthrough of it, I kind of got a little bit cocky, and that's why I, when I ran into this, I got a slightly unpleasant surprise, because this thing actually hits really hard. So, if you're a veteran player of From the Depths, if you've beaten neater, you're probably not going to have any trouble uh, with the Caravonian Rebellion, really. Uh, but for the new people, for the newer players, stick around. Alright, that was a much lengthy introduction. So, what what is this thing's deal? This is a plasma battle cruiser, or assault cruiser, rather. So, that pretty much sums it up quite nicely. This thing has big plasma guns, and really, my first encounter with it uh, was basically the ring a ding ding, hello, this is what it's like to have a plasma armed craft shoot at you. And it's one of those things that if you're not ready for it, you will be surprised because number of things, plasma does hurt like hell, it doesn't care about armor and the projectiles are really fast. So when I ran into it, my um, vehicles uh, were fast and focused on evading shots and that didn't work. Uh, but yeah, so we've got three, um, three plasma turrets, two guns each, and they're pretty darn strong. So they do about... Uh, uh, just over 12,000 damage per shot. Uh, they use 12 charges. And projectile speed is 1,472, which I think is the default for plasma, actually. And the... What's it? What's it? What's it? What's the... What was I supposed to be looking at? No, that's it, really. Oh, the RPM. The RPM is 60. So, uh... Basically, if a turret's firing at you, you get about uh, 120 shots of big plasma uh, coming at you uh, every minute. And that hurts a lot. And um, you can't really dodge uh, the main guns on this thing, so I wouldn't advise you try. Uh, it's also got five 40mm heat turrets. They're not on a separate AI, they're just there. Uh, the Caravonian Rebellion has a lot of craft, most of them built by, well, Aperture Gaming. And so, uh, yeah, so they have about 500 RPM. And just to show you the little shell, it's over here. It's, um... Not like, you know, it's not incredibly scary, it's just one of those things if you're new to the game and if you're not in the habit of making using spaced armor, uh, these things could be a bit of a problem for you, so bear that in mind. These shells are not particularly fast, they're like, for an APS, uh, 500 meters per second or thereabouts is like kind of medium speed, I guess. Uh, it also has a little torpedo drone, so that's what this fella is, and uh, the rail, the deco on these things is actually lovely. I gotta, I gotta steal them. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, no signal process or anything like that, but it's just one of those things where if you uh, are being a little bit lazy and a little bit cocky, and if you uh, bring a submarine along for this, uh, you better remember to put some torpedo defense on it because it's not completely helpless. And yeah, it's also got four uh, high explosive missile turrets, again, uh, if for whatever reason uh, you want to try dodging uh, this thing, uh, pure evasion is not going to work, it's going to hit you. No signal processes, uh, but yeah, just a little bit of extra firepower, and not a huge amount of damage. It's mostly just, I guess, for flavor and extra, and extra kaboom. And it's also decently armored. Like, this thing isn't particularly expensive, except for the plasma. It's like 500k. Uh, most people, I think, they're... Battleships are bigger than that, but yeah, it has a heavy armor citadel in here and numerous uh, air pockets. So remember, as a G modism likes to say, uh, like 
you know, empty space is actually pretty good armor. There's a lot of things which kind of get tripped up by that. Uh, Heat and Hesh um, is like, you know, you're not going to get immediately into uh, the guts of this thing, except if it hits uh, this turret well right here. And yeah, lots of empty space, lots of empty space. And that's about it. So this enough on its own if you're new to the game. And the Euronian Federation, by the way, which is the faction this thing uh, is in, is um, you could end run into them immediately. And one of the things I like about the Caravonian Rebellion is that um, event fleets spawn quite often. Every time you destroy a base, you get a different fleet spawning in. One of them has at least two of these Poseidon glass cruisers. And they will plasma the hell out of you if you uh, aren't ready for them. So, let's get into weaknesses. And there's a and there's a fair list, uh, simply because this is a campaign designed for newer players. And, um, like most uh, Caravonian Rebellion craft, it is very vulnerable to EMP. It has no surge protectors. And I believe the AI compartment does have rubber in it. So, well, the battery does. And actually... The mainframe... Yeah, so the AI is directly on heavy armor, so... Uh, this thing gets AI deaded by EMP uh, very easily. Uh, which is why, uh, when you boot up the Caravanian uh, campaign, like... It says if you don't want uh, it to be too, any, too much of an easy ride, don't use EMP. And aside from that, so if you're not if being a big blue meanie, and if you're avoiding the use of EMP, uh, use submarines. Because remember what I said earlier, that um, if your submarine has decent torpedo defenses, you will be absolutely fine um, with uh, with dealing with the Peregrine drone here. So I'm going to delete uh, this fella, and I'm going to spawn it in on the enemy side, and I'm going to spawn in a little submarine. Uh, where is my submarine? My submarine is here. I'm actually going to... Uh, where is the Cheeky Orca? There it is. So the Cheeky Orca is actually the thing I use in the Caravonian Rebellion. And it's like one of the better retrofits I've ever done. Because it's just... It's an attack submarine. It's hard to screw this up. So yeah, it launches big torpedoes. And now... Uh, the Poseidon can't really do anything because I don't think those uh, plasma guns can even uh, aim at subterranean targets. And the heat guns will do their best, but they don't do a hell of a lot. And this thing goes zoom, zoom, zoom. And we go boom, boom, boom. And kablooey. So yeah, already we're doing quite well. If you've got a torpedo-proof submarine, you will do absolutely just fine. Uh, missiles and drone... Uh, to like, the torpedoes that the drone drops and the missiles uh, that the Poseidon fires have no signal processors, so decoys work really well. Uh, steam turbines, I should mention, are... Destroy all vehicles. Whoops, 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 whoops. Right, let's spawn you back in, like... So, we so uh, the steam turbines that power the plasma on this thing are actually mounted on a spin block. This is cheeky. This is something you're not going to see in neater designs ever. Um, which means that uh, if this spin block gets destroyed, all those steam turbines fall off. So that's a major weakness uh, of this design. It does mean the thing's much more compact than it is. Like. I'm tempted to do that now, now that I've seen someone else do it, so, uh, yeah, like, um, that's just a little bit cheeky, like, I'm not sure how necessary that is, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head just how, um, strict the size limits are uh, for this campaign, but, um, it is what it is, there is a spin block in here with a lot of important stuff hanging off it, okay. It also relies on props to stay afloat. Uh, so you see over here, over here, we've got a pusher preset. And so if you take out the engines, so if you do, you do this, you will notice that this thing immediately starts to sink. I think there's another engine around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. There's the backup engine. Go away. Wow, it's still being afloat. 
I think that it's set up to prioritize stuff. Where's the... where's the... Where's the last engine? I literally cannot see it. Come on, guys. We need to see this thing sink. Am I blind? Guys, I think I might be blind. Hello? Oh, there might be an electric engine somewhere. Hello, let's see here. Yep. And... Hello, hello, what are you thinking about? So this is one of those designs, this is quite common in the Caravonian Rebellion, simply because it's a way of making uh, a thing, like, you know, a compact, dense thing uh, be a ship. So, yeah. So yeah, like, take out the engines, this thing sinks. And also this has no active defenses at all, so you might be wondering, like, how this even qualifies for Most Wanted. Well, like... This is more like, hello, wake up call, uh, there's a plasma craft uh, in the Caravan Rebellion, built very quickly by the way, like, this thing popped up, like, was just in the Caravan Rebellion in an update, uh, not long after plasma was first introduced, so, yeah, the campaign does get updated fairly regularly. Okay, so how do you survive this? Well, uh, if you're above water, you need shield projectors to take the edge off the plasma because that does reduce the damage. Don't bother trying to evade those plasma shots, it's not going to happen. And of course, hide underwater, as we've already seen. As for how to kill it, you use any weapon with sufficient ducker, really, because this thing doesn't have active defenses. Uh, Armor-piercing rounds, uh, in particular, you'll go straight through it. And... Aim for hot blocks, that is the thing. You want to... You want to aim for the engines, take them out, and if you really want to be like, I don't know, take advantage of campaign designs, like, you could EMP it and you would kill it, like, damn near instantly. This this video is kind of short, so I kind of want to just, um, let's see if we can spawn in something else uh, in this Caravanian Rebellion campaign that can kill this. So, we're looking for something roughly the same cost. Let's do... what is a 500k thing? Let's do... Uh, let's spawn in the uh, pseudo-Russians, why not? Oh dear. Uh, yeah, that also sometimes happens, is that the drone collides with the uh, main vehicle. And this thing is not firing. Oh, it's a short-range thing, that's why. Uh-oh! Yeah, that's not gonna go well. Oh, wait, no! Glide bombs! These are fun. These are very fun. These don't have magnets, I've just realized. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not the best matchup. <laughs> Plasma Doom does the trick better. Or not, actually. Let's see how this goes. If you blow this thing up enough, it'll probably be fine. Also, I love how the flares stick to it. Also, in case you're wondering, the... Uh, what the hell were they called again? The USS, the Union of Srogian uh, States. Their whole thing is that they only use missiles, so you can sum up their whole faction there by use decoys. Use decoys and you will be fine. Whee! I'm now distracted by explosions. This is pretty evenly matched, actually. It's impressive. So yeah, that's the Poseidon class cruiser. Hide underwater and you should be fine. Uh, just be aware that uh, this campaign might be easier than neater, but... Uh, I don't think there's anything in Nita that has a plasma cannons quite like this. I might be wrong, they might have added something, I'm not sure. Uh, there's at least, there's a few plasma vehicles that have been added to Nita, uh, but nothing that, like, focuses on plasma quite like this. So, if you want to uh, combat test your craft against something that has decent plasma guns, like, okay plasma guns, not amazing, um, then yeah, download the Caravonian Rebellion. Have the Poseidon shoot at you for a little bit. Okay, so... That just about does it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, 
Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. Please check out my second channel, Border RRR. And I will see you next time in From the Depths, Most Wanted. Farewell.